Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick on the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive, depending on where you are in the world. Good luck with this one, Nicky, because it's all in Japanese. It's Pio Pio, published by Compile in 1992. It's a, a block moving game. And um, what the hell does this say? I think that might be one player up there. Who knows? I don't speak Japanese. So it's not expert gameplay, it's dodgy gameplay. Ninkaboo chat and see how we got on your first or second go. And I think this is at what level we're on, first of all. Um, now, this game, um, we have to move blocks down a screen called Pyos. And when you get four of a certain colour in a row, they will vanish. It's you against either player 2 or the computer AI, different opponents of difficulty. I'm down the left hand side, my opponent's down the right hand side. So I'm arranging these blocks like this. Now we reviewed a game very similar to this called Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine from Sega in 1993, which was a year uh, later. That was a reskin of this, and the graphics are the same apart from the reskin bit. Now, we need to get four in a row. And if we do get four in a row, it causes blocks to fall on your opponent's side of the screen. And whoever fills up first, it come, comes, uh, well, loses, essentially. So I've learned from playing Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. And I'm trying to set up combos and chains, because that's what causes the most. So that's a double one I've got. Now, keep an eye on the right-hand side. Stuff's going to fall on my opponent uh, to uh, cause him bother, I think. Four in a row there. So the temptation, there we go, it's a lot there. So the temptation is to do blocks of four straight away. Don't do that. Try and set up combos uh, there. So maybe go blocks of three in a row in hopefully to knock those, right? Okay, so I'm winning on, well, it says lesson one. But I suppose it's level one, right? Go, go, Nick. If you had this back in the day, let me know. It's Japanese, you might not have, but you might have had Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. So check out the view of that. Although my gameplay might not be quite as good on that one because I was still learning. Right, okay. It's nice music, it's Japanese, it's good to see. Right. Do 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 there might there might be an English language version of this one, but this is all I can find. Uh, so you see he's gradually running out of room. Please hit subscribing if you haven't already. Oh, that's gonna cause some blocks there. And big thanks to those people who subscribed so far. It's all about seeing all these curios and stuff all over the place. Good, I'm gonna win this one and get to level two, right. Looking confident here, looking confident. So your opponents will get gradually trickier. Influenced by Tetris, I presume, but four in a row and you're there. They just had to be touching each other. I think I might as well go for that there. And I'll do a four there. Boom. Surely, yeah, I think I'm going to win. There you go. So I've, I've won straight away with my excellent tactics for playing Dr. Robotics Mean Bean Machine. That was reskin from this. I'm using characters from Sonic the Hedgehog. Right, here we go. Next level. What the hell does this say? You speak Japanese, you might do. You can translate it for me. But basically, it's saying this guy, this blue beanbag guy with the glasses, is turning up to challenge me. Same thing again, but he's going to be slightly more difficult. I'm the guy on the left, computer's on the right. Let's see whose ta tactics works out the best. Uh, you can rotate the pios as they go down, either clockwise or anti clockwise. And by pressing them down, you can, uh, well, make it go down a little bit quicker. Right, okay. So, uh,. A couple of uh, blocks have gone my side obstacles, but it's all about the cascades, really. Uh, there's power-ups here and there, you can collect if you're good enough. Right, so, let's clear that a bit there. So at the moment, he's slightly ahead, but uh, it's all about creating the chains of combos and pios as you go across. So clever people will try and set that up. He's going for quick ones at the moment. I mean, you know, what is the tactic? What's best to use? So he's got much more of the screen left. But, uh, you know, I need a, a yellow and a green one for extra power. Oops. Oh, God, we might have bother here. It looks like we're in bother. Uh, my, my, my tactic seems to have gone astray here. Well, four, that's all right. Uh, when you get four in a row as a, on a cascade or a combo, it sometimes it destroys some of the existing obstacle blocks your opponent has dropped on you. If you want to see other Mega Drive stuff we've reviewed, there's a link there in the description below. You can click on my username, takes to the channel page, and then uh, yeah, click on the playlist tab. Right. Oh god, my screen's almost half full up. I need it to be kind on me. I think I'm doomed here. Oh no, get that purple one there. That could work. Boom. Right, okay. Right, yeah, that could work. Right, okay, we're going to get a chain effect, are we, almost? Right, go. Oh, I'm pulling this back slowly. That yellow one's going to be very useful. Biff. Oh, right, okay, so that's a combo. So keep an eye on my opponent's side. Fuse drops on there. So 
you can see if you get like four or five combos in a row, it's going to cause massive havoc for him. Okay, now this looks like it's going to go all the way, this one. This is a challenge. Can I do it? Please make me do it. Yes. You might not have played this one. Well worth tracking down if you can do. Let's just say, Japanese game. Boom. Come on, Nick. Come on, come on, come on. So you don't want to fill up the top of the to the top of the playfield and then you're dead. Just like Tetris, I suppose, but slightly different. So this was by Compile in 1992. Robotnik was in 1993. Uh, this one also came out on the Game Gear 2, that handheld there, if you were aware of that. Right, good. Am I, am I actually slowly winning this? Come on, Nicky, come on. No time limit here. Lesson 2, it says. Well, maybe that's level 2, not sure. Come on, come on, come on. Let's flip that. Oh, I could have flipped that, but I've done a boo-boo there. Anyway, let's set up a potential combo. I was doing well, but I seem to be losing it again. Three in a row. So, so you know, where you see freeze in a row, that's potentially you can do stuff. Right, that's it. Purple, yes. Two in a row. Now, look at each side. He's going to get kabiffed, I think. Yes. Either of us can win here. I can't say which way this is going to go. Do, 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 do. Nice music. I think the music might change on different levels, and the background might change every now and again. That'll do. That's a big one. That's a big one. Surely I must be winning soon. Biff. Oh, I could have positioned that a little bit better, but that'll do. This is going to be a big one. Yes. Yes. I think I'm going to win now, aren't I? Surely. Look at all that mess he's got on there. Come on, Nick. Now, I might as well go through quick ones now to finish him off. Yay. Good Biff. Two levels done. Yay. Yay for me. Hurrah. No bonus. No bonus. No bonus. Right. Lesson three. This is like the trainer, I think. Now I'm going to play this mummy person. This is teaching you how to play the game, but pretty much the same. I think there's about ten opponents in the proper thing, but it's going to play like this, gradually getting difficult and using different tactics. Lesson three: It's Ali versus Mummy. So, okay, Mummy, you're good. You're, you're, you're well doomed. Buff. Okay. Uh, mm, that could have been a bit better. I could have had a green and a yellow one by now. That's good, that's going to be a combo. Shake that, buff. Top buffing uh, by me. That was you come to expect. So I do like a good uh, puzzle game. This one's nice and gentle. Uh, do I prefer it to Dr. Robotnik's? Well, they're pretty much the same, really. Although I could understand the language in that one. But the Pios are the same graphics of what I can make out. So it's the same sort of game, really. I guess Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bee Machine uh, was made particularly for the... Uh, the, uh, the Western market, I guess. And this was like in Japan. Right, hang on. That's the same game. Duh, 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 duh. But it's quite addictive. Oh, look at that. I'm getting I'm getting my butt handed to me here on a silver platter. Oh, my. Yes, it's, it's ranked up the difficulty. I was trying to be too clever. Take my time with trying to set up chains. And because I'm set up chains, it's all gone a bit wrong. Right, okay. A group of three. Oh no, I need I need kindness now. Oh no. Oh dear, I've messed up. I've done a few boo-boos there, I've run out of room. Kabiff, kabooty, boom, boom, boom. How am I gonna get out of that? I'm nut. It's danger, danger, red alert, Bert. Oh dear, and there go the pyos, they're off again. Well I ranked five. That wasn't bad for my first go. I think I would have played this quite a bit here. Uh continue. Yo -yo. Yo -yo. Right, okay, so what's that? Oh, that's, I hope, let's see what that is. Oh dear, I think that's played. I bet I've put it on two player. Oh dear, and I've got a second controller. I've got a second controller connected here. So that's what if you want to do two player. I might have to reset the thing here to get back to where I was. Then come Poopery. Right, we're back. Turning Japanese, I think I'm turning Japanese, I really think so. Bur, 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 bur. Let's do stage four then, I think I'm ready for stage four, advance. So there's the different opponents going forward. I should have done stage one really, uh, you know. So this woman's flying around with a big orange hair. Uh, they're saying lots of stuff to me, probably very complimentary. So we've got different backgrounds, this is advanced, why don't I do level one road? So okay, she's, she's zipping them down very, very quickly. Stage four, this is for advanced, this is a newbie newbie time, this is for people who know what they're doing. As you can see, gorgeous backgrounds here, I like this rock work. There's going to be several different backgrounds you can do as you go through, versus all these hell-bent nincompoops uh, trying to pile pile your bottom into hell. If you're currently trying to pile pile your bottom into hell, then comment below. No, perhaps don't. Right, okay. Right. 
Uh, so look at his tactics. He's a uh, well, sure tactic. She's piled on both sides there. That's that's maybe a good tactic. They've done a little border. Maybe I can steal that versus some of the lesser people. Yeah, that's quite clever, isn't it? Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's a good idea. Then just focus on the middle. Try and get what you can get. Do do do. Music is different. You will see on this level. It's quite funky. Funky music. Right, I haven't, I haven't done any combos yet. That'll do, will it? Yes, that's one. Come on. Uh, let's get a green one there. See, I'll, see, I'll, I'm not doing it. Oh, no, that's, that's a combo. That's going to cause him some bother. And that's where, it, where her tactic could be could be bothersome. Or well, maybe it won't, because blocks can't fall on one side. Do, 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 do. I like this music the best, actually. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's going to be nice, I think. Yes. Hiya. Do, do, do. That'll do one as well. But, uh, am I going to win? Please, Nick, win. Unless they get loads of combos from hell. Oh, a red one would be nice. Come on, that's... Yes. Maybe I could put that in a better place. Come on, Nick, come on. Smacks. Come on, win, 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 win. Surely I've got this. They're going to create a load of combos in a minute, aren't they? That's going to be the rub here. Yes, three in a row. I'm trying to be a bit cute here. Maybe that's not the thing to do. Maybe I should have finished them off. Just got a feeling they're going to create something crazy. Oh, that's a muck up by me. Don't let them create anything crazy. I'm running out of room here. Oh dear. Oh no, I could have done lots of stuff with the colours I've got. I've really messed up here. Uh, oh, I green. Oh dear, I've done, I've done a few boo-boos here. I was in quite a strong position. Now my strong position has gone to pot. Yes? Surely. No. The yellows there. Put those yellows, that'll do. That'll can beef some of the blocks as well below. Create a bit of extra space. Do, 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 do. Oh, I should have put that in different. I'm making lots of boo boos here as I'm getting. Oh dear, they've got a few combos. It's it's bad news time. Bad news time. Here we go. Come on, Nick. You got this. You got this, you wally. Oh dear, running out of space big time. Avalon. Oh dear, they got me. Well, I think uh, with different tactics I can do that. Now, I would be playing this game a long, long time. Really long time. I really like this. I like Dr. Robotnik's, but I like seeing where the influence come from originally. So, we're well tracking down this. A real nice game, all in Japanese, of course. But, uh, you know, I've explained what to do, and I think you'll be getting it quite quickly. So, hope you'd like to have a look at that one. That was Pio Pio on the uh, Mega Drive, or Genesis, depending on where you are in the world. Posed by Compile in 1982. A really neat uh, puzzle game. I love the thing. Very addictive. Good Good characters to play, good difficulty curve. So, if you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro or Mega Drive, put that in the comment section below. You're more than welcome. Until next time, take great, great, great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, look at that! I'm getting, I'm getting my butt handed to me here on a silver platter.